Bo had the surgery done a year ago. And Bo, I just wanted you to talk for a minute about what your experience was, what your reasons were for wanting to have this done. And I'm sure you'll answer a lot of questions that other patients will have, of course. So I'll let you go ahead. Sure. Yeah, um, I'm 32 years old. Uh, I'm a soccer coach, uh, so I'm up on my feet a lot. Uh, I ended my collegiate soccer career with a, a several injuries, including a fracture of my tibia in my right leg. Uh, and then I had a quad, quad tendon and micro tears that required debridement uh, and a meniscus tear as well. And so I, I think with just a bunch of surgeries, uh, you know, I, I started to get uh, arthritis in my left knee and my lateral compartment. Um, you know, th those sort of symptoms uh, progressed. So, you know, my, my college career ended at 22 and by the time I was 28 or 29, I was hurting pretty good all the time. Um, you know, I got to a point where I had a lot of swelling in my knee, uh, limited in, in what activities I could do. I got to, to where I couldn't run really anymore. Couldn't do anything that required, um, you know, a lot, a lot of loading on the, on the knee joint. Uh, so I started to look for, you know, some type of uh, solution. Um, you know, I, I think with the internet nowadays, you can kind of find a lot out there. So I started to research that way. Uh, actually, I, I came to the Bone and Joint Clinic and saw Dr. Broyles. I think you know Dr. Broyles kind of presented the uh, the idea of uh, of this uh, procedure that Dr. Saul actually was doing in Malaysia. That consisted of a microfracture surgery with stem cell injections. Um, you know, even at that point, I, I still wanted to do some research, so I looked at other options. Um, you know, including uh, partial knee replacement, ACI um, surgery. Um, and really none of those to me seemed like uh, a, a, good, a good option at the time. Um, so uh, about a year ago, uh, I had the, uh, the surgical procedure um, and then went through um, the stem cell injections and then also the, the physical therapy treatment, which was a critical piece. Uh, you know, the, the stem cell injections themselves, um, you know, I, I thought the... Uh, and whatever anxiety I had about it, it really wasn't a big deal at all. Um, it wasn't a, uh, something that I dreaded. Um, so, you know, I, again, I think a slow process. I think probably for me about three months, I started to feel about where I was uh, before surgery. Um, I was able to start biking a good bit around that time period. So I was able to get active again, which was, which was good. I was up on my feet coaching a lot, which uh, again, I, I felt good coaching. I wasn't swollen at the end of the day, which I used to be before surgery. Um, and then again, by about six months, uh, I think is when I really started to feel like I turned the corner. Uh, actually at that time, I, I, I could jog um, without pain, without swelling, uh, without the need of, a, of an offloader brace. Uh, I could lift in the gym. Again, you know, I had to be uh, somewhat careful about what I was doing, but I was able to do a lot of exercises to strengthen uh, my leg. Um, and I would say by about nine months, uh, again, I, I feel I felt really good. I'm at a year now. Uh, I feel like I could probably push and do a lot more, uh, but I'm super happy about my quality of life right now. Uh, again, I'm able to play out in the yard with my kids. Uh, I'm able to coach and demonstrate uh, and be active and again not have swelling and, and pain. For me the surgery is, has been uh, tremendous on my quality of life. Um, I have no regrets about doing it and, uh, and I think knowing and again going back to some of the research that I did knowing that you know the effects of the surgery and that hopefully the continued cartilage growth uh, will go on for another year or two. Uh, I, I feel like um, you know the fact that I, I'm at a year right now and I feel as good as I do, uh, the, my positive outlook uh, towards the future, I think, is, uh, is really exciting.